with more than one-third of Southeast Asia's entire population. Indonesia is also one of its fastest growing economies. In the developing world, that means that also the poor-rich divide expands at a far greater rates than usual. The higher the rate, the higher the risk for the well-being of the population to be politically instrumentalized by a ruling party of the moment. In this country too, this results in uh, domestic aid and the provision of social infrastructure uh, to follow more electoral terms than the real need of uh, the population. This phenomenon is particularly visible in the archipelago of Seribu, just north of uh, the coast of Jakarta and not very far from its central government. This place could be a paradise for both uh, tourists and local inhabitants alike. Unfortunately, land investors are forcing the population to move onto fewer, smaller and much more crowded islands that's causing them to live in very harsh and unsustainable conditions. In the past, a few projects have been implemented, especially uh, to provide the local population with the salinating equipment and reservoir tanks that are far too close to the shore and thus fairly quickly become unsuccessful and unusable. Stagnating uh, grey waters, monsoon driven water scarcity, hazardous hygienic conditions, waterborne diseases and a higher rate of infant mortality are all motivations that have driven us to provide a more comprehensive and holistic water scheme to help these populations help themselves. The roofs of the houses were often not provided with gutters. Thus the first step was to sensitize the population about this easy and practical way to collect rainwater. 
Afterwards, all gutters, including the ones already present, were equipped with screens to avoid leaves and other debris to enter and clog the system. Water flows from the gutter drop directly into the filter and sometimes is collected in separate reservoir tanks. When the water enters the filter, it enters at the bottom part of it and it's pushed through it by the pressure head. By means of a T-junction, the excess of water is diverted in a separate tank and this unfiltered water can be used for washing clothes or dishes or for different purposes. The filter consists of a series of layers of sand, gravel and activated carbon. It uses uh, physical processes as sedimentation, absorption and straining to remove fine particles, as well as microbiological processes to remove organic matter and bacteria. At the same time, the acidity of water is as well reduced. The small size of the filter allows the user to install it and move it wherever it's necessary while the easy way it is built allows the local population to clean it easily and eventually to replicate it. This is the filters for cleaning the water from rainwater and the well water. It contains activated carbon, the most effective materials to filter the water because it can absorb organic matters, impurities, bad taste and bad odors for, of the water. It will last longer if you keep it clean and well maintained. We know water is essential to life. At the same time we know that water is a vehicle that can carry hazards. Poor hygiene and sanitation conditions are triggers for water contamination that causes all sorts of waterborne diseases, such as chronic diarrhea, cholera, malaria and dengue fever. This is particularly important for areas with high population density, like most of the Cerebu Islands. Proper storage and use of water are key factors to reduce the water contamination. The reuse of grey waters helps substituting drinking water for applications where drinking water quality is not required, such as toilet flushing, laundry washing and irrigation. Another way to increase the overall hygiene conditions and decrease the sources of contamination is the setup of an organized and safe disposal of solid waste. For the wash activities, we coordinate with the so-called Mosquito Ladies, a group of local women engaged by the government to periodically test the water quality and provide water cleaning solutions at the individual households. The mosquito Ladies are the most effective tools to reach the local population and to ensure the long-term sustainability of our project's activities. We face some challenges during the socialization of the filters. Uh, most of them are not really proactive, so it's really important for them to see a proven example, either from us as a facilitator or from the neighbors. If the neighbors are successful with the filters, then they are willing to try. Also, some of them think that it's just a man's job. When we approach the mother or the wives, they'll say they know nothing and it's just their husband's job. Lastly, because the filter bucket is quite heavy, it gives troublesome for the elders or the widows who live alone. We, as the facilitator, working on these challenges by continuously educating them about the filters and water training, as well as uh, collaborating with the local fixers if they need help in the future. My name is Zilpi. I am 16 years old. I live in Pangang Island. I do environment conservation. I joined a community in Pramuka Island. We call it Greenhouse. This community invites young people to take care of island and sea environment. We also teach children in primary school. Aku melakukan hal ini 
supaya orang-orang mau menjaga bumi ini sebagaimana bumi ini menjaga kita terlebih dahulu. Murid penjaji rilino engkak rewata kalemu mule purani totoku tosi padua siruntu muri panjaji rilino tudang riwata kalemu letu capana rilino si padua materu muri panjaji rilino engkak riwata kalemu mule purani totoku tosi padua